Hello, hi, how are you? My name's Ken Onion. Welcome to my channel. And today I'll be playing Maize. This is a first-person adventure game about what happens when two scientists misinterpret a memo from the U.S. government and create a sentient corn. And that last sentence is pretty much the least ridiculous thing about this game. Yes, that is actually in the description. It says, explore an abandoned farm and a not-so-abandoned underground research facility as you uncover the mysteries around Maize and possibly learn about yourself along the way. Or maybe not. With a colorful cast of characters and an absolute absurd world, Maize offers a unique experience that keeps the surprises coming. Seriously, they're everywhere. Anyway, let's start. So, Maize means corn in Spanish, but I, this game is obviously not in Spanish. I don't know why it's called Maize. They could have just called it corn. Ooh. I also just realized, I mean... I don't know if they intended the game to be called Maze, or is it just Maze? <laughs> I just realized that. It's, I think Maze is actually without an E, but still, I guess you could still pronounce it, whatever. Alright. Let's go catch some corn. I hope I don't get lost in this. Oh, look, there's a silo. Water that way. That's where we came from. What's this? Okay. I can't do anything with that right just yet. The house is this way. Nope, dead end. Dang it! I've actually never been through a corn maze. Pressing Q does absolutely nothing. Thanks. Nice. Okay, what's this? English muffin. You did a great... Oh, the box... That was weird. Like, boxes just got picked up for nothing. Wait, was there anything else? Oh, there's a letter there. Oh no, it's just an, a plate or a napkin. Okay. Press E to examine your equipment. Hard as granite. This muffin is most definitely nowhere fit for consumption. Despite how much you try, all you've done is giving yourself a headache. Or break teeth. <laughs> so what do I do with this English muffin? The windmill's this way. Oh, but it's blocked off. Oh, so it was boxes that moved. Oddly. Also, if I sound a bit congested, I am sick again. Press spacebar to look at the story items in your folio. Let's see. So let's see if I go into front of the house. Okay. So the farmhouse is this way, but it's blocked off. Okay, let's see if there's anything in the back of the house. Okay, I might need something to break open the, the basement. I don't think I can go through there, so... Oh, chicken coop! Can help cap. At least I can open this. Oh, key. Yes. Sweet. Got the farmhouse key. Anything else over here? Or is it blocked off too? No matter how many times you press Q, it still does nothing. Listen, I didn't press Q. What are you talking about? What is this? Okay, well, I guess I can't break that off yet. I need something. Alright, well, so, let's see if this door opens. The front. Oh, this, this key opens the door in the front. Yay! Okay. Uh, what? 
I get a flashlight or something? It's so dark in here. So I did try to record this game, but I was just... I wasn't feeling too well. Obviously, I'm sick. Um, so I'm re-trying to record it. I guess some of the items that I've picked up already... Ooh. Um, already in my inventory. Rancid corn oil. Oh. Uh, I wonder what's meat grinders for. Oh, what's that? Oh, sh I didn't see this. Unlocking a secret door, making it less secret. Oh, snap. Okay. Wait, how do I... Okay, I'm not... I'm not crouched. Oh, what's this? Fuse box. Okay. And let's check the whole house. Don't know what that does yet. Is this bath plug? Nail clippers. And I can finally clip my nails. Um, does the nail clippers work with this? Does anything work with this? Oh, what about the... No, still. You can't put the... You can't ground the English muffin down? Oh, let's see what's upstairs. Oh, put the box here. Nice. Place fruit crate on the floor. Uh... So I, I keep thinking, like, jump is the space bar. Okay, what do I do now? Hmm. Oh, what's this? Bobby pin. Nice. Alright, let's see if one of the items can go get that nail out of... How do I get down? In that shed. Or the outhouse. I didn't miss anything, did I? No. Not the bobby pin. Oh, the nail clipper. Nice. Pull out a rusty nail out of the wall. Sweet. Oh, let's see what the nail does. Um, how do I... The rusty nail, for some reason, the first thing that pops in your head is that it would be a good conductor for electricity, possibly a fuse. You are very strange. So I wonder then if I can use this for the basement. Water? No. Barched. Okay. Use rusty nails as a fuse. Again, safety <laughs> regulations. Oh snap, now I have light in this house. Finally. Oh. Aha, now I can go outside. Nice. That noise. So nothing else I can grab, I don't think. Yeah, let's go. So I don't know what to do with this. Something just jammed. Maybe I gotta stick something in it. Ooh. Oh, radio. CD player. What does that do? Picked up a CD player. Good for you. A new path that's open to you. The barn and silo. Oh, nice. 
Thank you. My old CD players, labeled faded. Pressed on the first batch of CDs ever created. This brand was notoriously expensive and even more unreliable. Make it even the greatest of symphonies sounds like something a concussed elephant would make while stumbling around a music shop. Interesting. Okay, let me see what the bobby pin is for. Extremely useful for picking a lock, but you mistakenly thought it was a pencil and wrote a very detailed account of your day to that point and didn't notice there was no ink until a few hours later, you idiot. Okay, what, and what's the, the corn for? Or the corn oil? Does the smell is strong enough to overcome a herd of yaks. You could use it to loosen up something you need to remove. For some reason, an image of a glove hand pops into your hand. Loading directly, you walk straight into a wall. What? What in the heck? Okay, well, we opened the silo area. Let's go take a look at that. Oh, the, now you tell me to hold the shift? I already learned that. If you're stuck, remember E to examine your equipment for clues. That's what I've been doing. Hmm. No animals. Nothing useful. Oh, it's this. A book titled Corn of the World. I thought I saw something up there. Oh, it might just be the broken wood. Let's check upstairs. Oh, a broom? What do I use that for? What's this? Half of a diagram. Oh, no. Like a John Deere hat. Is this what you were transpiring to be? Get pumped. Ugh. I guess that was it. Alright, let's see if there's anything behind. I said I could go to the silo, too. Oh, can I use a bobby pin for this? Yeah! Nice. Someone was living in here. D O one O three. what's that mean? Corn. I grab a pile of corn kettles. Oh. Oh! Got pliers. And I got the telescope. Interesting. So the CD. And the oil. I don't know what it's used for. I'm not pressing Q! I'm not pressing Q! What the heck is this? A Tesla coil? Okay, so I guess I can't go this area yet. That's blocked off. Is there anything? Oh yeah, it lights up here. Very old-fashionable fedora. What is that? Charred name tag. It took you several hours for staring, but you managed to deduce that the name tag in the fax belongs to the dead person it was near, and that his name is Fernando. It took you several more hours to notice that the dead person was a lab assistant, and then five more minutes to realize that you were trying to read the things upside down the whole time. <laughs> okay, fashionable fedora. A very fashionable fedora worn by a fashionable person. Due to this, you are not putting it on your head. As you have not earned the right. <laughs> I thought maybe like lice or something. 
On the inner tag, the owner wrote his name, Fernando. Oh, so this is Fernando's. Oh, telescope. Manufactured about a century ago, this telescope affected range is atop of a low hanging tree. Possibly because its lenses were put on backwards. Looks like it was used frequently with varying results. Half of a diagram. The diagram torn in half contains a very complicated looking equation scribbled in orange pen. A drawing of a person and a DNA hack. Felix. Looks very important. You tried to eat it at first, but changed your mind when you couldn't find the salt. The corn book. Differences and similarities of corn species across the globe. Several chapters discuss the color yellow. A few species are circled in red pen, while no, no, no appears in many crosses, many places across the entire book in a blue pen. Welcome note. A note lazy scribbled includes a stock greeting and encourages the reader to enjoy the complimentary stacks on the desk. Notes set the reader to mind the boxes and also says, open the big door, we'll probably say hello. Boring novel, having no talent at the genre, the author mistakenly reveals the murderer's identity on the first page. And spent the rest of the novel outlining the story about the de detective buying a pair of pants. Mediocre rock. This is the rock you found near the outhouse. If you don't know why you have it, it's absolutely mediocre in every possible. Its name is Chauncey. Chauncey! A burnt report. Much of it can't be read, but the words uh, abject failure appear several times, so so does hurt feelings. Sen sentient corn stalks, and why did we do this? Statue invoice. An invoice for a commission, wooden statue. Cost is in the hundreds and thousands. Items on the list include chopping down a large oak tree. Old oak tree, carved statue out of oak tree, and hospital builds for injuries sustaining down the oak tree. Alright. Read everything so far. So I guess I don't do anything with it. We're just- Oh! Here's a dead body! Holy cannoli, I freaking missed this! Thank you. I now have a gloved hand which I can use at that door. Was it me or this body just wasn't there? Oh my gosh, I did not see that. Oh, there's that wooden statue. Go look at it. Hello. Oh, what's this? Broken shovel handle, nice. I can't go this way yet. So here we are. We have the hand. What? I thought that's what that was for. Slot for a key. I don't think I have that yet. Okay, so I need to find the DNA thing. Hmm. There's a fire door. We're gonna go back into the house and see what we can do with that box that we laid on the ground. Maybe one of the items that we finally got works with it. Oh, there you go. Oh, nice. This goes upstairs. Ooh. What lovely things we have here. WT-40. <laughs> That's funny. What the heck is wrong with this? Dude, he looks so scary. Scary gnome. Oh, what's this? Mallet. And an item can be placed there. I don't have an item that looks like that. What did... Okay, let me look at... So something to smash perfectly flat with this trusty tool, but remember you can never unflatten things with this. This is the mallet's greatest weakness. Severed hand perfectly preserved in a glove that's encased it. It can come in handy when you can give yourself a hand <laughs> and find a way to loosen that glove off. The first pun was intended, but the second one. Find a way to loosen... Oh, do I use... The... Do I use the glove? Oh! 
Oh! Oh, I got it! Um, the oil with the glove. But I got the key fob. That's what we needed here anyway. Okay, what does that do? Like, what, what was the point of that? Oh, I smash it. Oh, this is the DNA thing. Oh, uh, okay, so I still need to get the hand out of the glove, though. So, like, how do I use the hand with that? You know what I'm saying? The weird lamp. A little disturbing to me, actually. Okay, but, okay, so I don't... Oh, okay, here you go. Nice, got it. Sweet, let's go. I'm holding a dead person's hand. It's kind of nasty. Now we can see what's in that lab. Oh, I'm going the wrong way, aren't I? We have all the items now. So the hand. And the DNA thing. Sweet, what the heck is in here? Is it the sentient corns? What was that? Hello? Hey! What? Hey! Hey! Oh, shh. You must answer a riddle before you're allowed to enter. What? <coughs> What are you talking a about? Doctor and his son are in a car accident. No, not that one. Say the one about the guy who hung himself with an ice block. You <laughs> gave that one away. Answer this one. What animal walks on four legs in the morning? That one's boring. I'm Riddle President today. I get to pick. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, oh yeah, 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 that's true. <laughs> Was he president oh, every time? No, I, you, I did been a vote for him on the election. Oh, we should be yeah. yeah. that. <clears throat> An empty bus pulls up to a stop and ten people get on. At the next stop, five people get off, and twice as many people get on as at the first stop. At the third stop, twenty-five get off. So, which one of us is named Jim? What? Am I Jim? I thought he was Jim. No, that's Bill. Where's Bill? You're Bill. Oh, that's <laughs> right. You may as well enter as we sort this all out. Let's hope you're better than the last one. What? I'm so confused with what just happened. Oh, and watch out for our brother down there. He's a bit odd. What? Hiya, Ted. Don't worry about it. I'll reset the elevator after a few more months of data. We overbought food pellets and have to get rid of them somehow. Bob. Bob, I told you to fix this elevator weeks ago. It takes... Hours for everyone to get in here because you're a stupid experiment, moron. Fortunately, Ted. Okay, how do I get down? Do I just wait? I put the muffin there. Oh, there you go. Oh, what's this? I ate a stale pellet. <laughs> okay. Another stale pellet. Am I ever gonna go down? Oh, another stale pellet. Ah, nice. My god, Bob, what is this? Did you actually have the g gall to commission a bronze statue of yourself? It'll cost us a fortune. You narcissistic adult? Orderly Ted. Hi, Ted. Don't worry. I got a good deal on it. Commission these statues in bulk. I think they're really spruced up the facility, especially for the tour. Could be a money a big money maker for us, Bob. Bob, you are so, so very stupid. What about the term classified? Don't you understand? We can't host any tours, moron. Orderly Ted. I don't think I didn't 
notice you put one near the farmhouse. Repeat. Classified. Put it away, idiot. Quarterly dead. Okay. What is a pamphlet? Oh, what do I do with this one? I only have the English muffin with me. Dead. Bob. <laughs> so funny. Okay, so we're in the facility. Huh. I wonder what I'm gonna find down here. It's over here. Oh, look, more notes. Hi, Ted. The fish shipment should be arriving today. Could you be a pal and put them in the tank for me? Thanks, Bob. Bob, you dummy. There are thousands of water tanks here. Do you realize how much feeding these fish will cost? Cordially, Ted. Ooh. A cheap jumpsuit. What do I need the cheap jumpsuit for? Oh, security room. A coat rack. I'm, am I just grabbing random stuff? A warfare readiness report. I guess I am just grabbing random stuff. Ted, Ted, exciting news. I got us a huge deal on jumpsuits for the facility. I got thousands in bulk at the fraction of the price. I've already used savings for some great stuff. Bob. Bob, you idiot. You got a deal on them because they are completely useless. Nobody can wear them. Cordially, Ted. Oh, I can have paper. Um. Oh, ooh. Oh, I guess eventually I will open that area. Um, so Ted completely hates Bob. And Bob just wastes money like nothing. X, what does that do? A workout room. This is huge just for the two of them. Oh, wait. Huh. A band? Okay, I feel like I'm just finding random stuff that will open eventually. What is this? Probably another rock. Let's see the portfolio. Not a nondescript rock. Run off the mill rock with no defining features whatsoever to its discern it from the billions of other rocks currently existed in existence. Its name is Mabel. Dumbbell. Try as you might, you are unable to lift this more than two times a quick succession. And yet somehow you continue to carry it with you wherever you go. Jumpsuit invoice. Invoice for an order of military grade jumpsuits at a heavy markdown of the original cost. All apparently have the name Mitchell embroidered across the breast. And only come in size XXXXXL. The word defective appears a few times in a very small print. Warfare report. Appears to be a report on the warfare readiness of the subject of Project Maize. The report states multiple times that the sentient corn have no had no discernible method of raising or operating a military firearm and have a habit of taking naps right in the middle of a test. The term abject failure also appears over the document, a running theme on many reports involving the corn. Facility brochure. <laughs> a flashy brochure that appears to be part of the proposed tour of the facility, which includes what Bob thought a modern child looked like. Most of the brochures is redacted, except for the walking sentient corn on the front. Nice. Oh, there's- I missed one here. I'll read that later. Okay, let's see what this poll does. Good for hanging coats, unless it's placed upside down, in which a case is not effective at all. Okay. Made out of a material that looks like it will fall apart at the mere thought of gentle breeze. The jumpsuit should not be worn by anybody. Also says Mitchell. Oh, and the headband. The sweaty headband imbues the wearer with the ability to walk at a slight brisker pace than normal for short periods of time. It's not worth the risk. What, to wear it? Right, let's go down this corridor. Oh, it's a child's room. Child's playroom. 
Get a block. Hello, bear. Oh, I get to keep you. Anything else? No. Do children really go through this? Because my cats have this. <laughs> Whee! Alright, there was another whole hallway to go down, so... We're gonna go down that. Oh, what's in here? Item can be placed here. Oh, is that the shape of the teddy bear? Mm. Interesting. Power strip. I turned it on. Bob, stop playing your stupid games on my computer. It's screaming around with my AI. It's gre It's screwing around with my AI experiments. Idiot. Ted. Hmm. Well, Ted. Maybe don't be leaving your crap around. How about that? Bobby, jerk. Put my ram back where it was. I know you took it and hid it in that stupid spot of yours. Bring it back here. And this arm goes here. Ah. So we gotta find the other pieces. For that. Oh. Hi, Ted. The latest brochure came back with the press. Take a look. I think it'll really boost the tour. And you'll be happy to know that the most sensitive bits have been redacted. Safety first. Bob, first you are an idiot. That brochure is incredibly stupid. Second, the last one. Last time, no tours. Ted. Third, if you're going to make the stupid brochure, at least add my name to it. We're co-research heads. Remember? As in the same title, jerk. Hi, Ted. Really sorry, but the final print has been done and sent off. I'll make dub doubly sure that the next one has your name underneath mine on the front, Bob. Good God, Bob. Do you have the reading comprehension of a five-year-old? This is a top secret facility. Where did you send those brochures, moron? Dude, he's pissed. Oh, what can I do now? I can't do anything? Okay. What else is down here? Oh, these guys are messy. Oh, there's some corn. Hello. Cheeseburger wrapper. Don't know what I do with that. Hiya, Ted. Notice that you took down the painting in the lobby. Thanks. I had a little blemish on it. No sweat, though. Here's another one. Be a pal and put it up, would you please? Bob, I'm not putting up another one of your paintings, you selfish, indulgent Louise. For God's sake, how many did you order? And why is my face on that stupid horse? <laughs> That's funny. He seems... Uh, he, he thinks he's higher than Bob. I mean, he thinks he's higher than Ted. Dang, what is with these cheeseburger wrappers? can't go through here. Bobby, disgusting stop. Until you've cleaned up after yourself, I'm blocking your entrance into the bathroom. I'm tired of calling in the hazmat team every week, you moron. Dude. This is nasty. Ooh, the backpack. Oh, oh, yeah. So I need this for the last part. For the bear. Oh, the corn's still there. Uh, let's put this on the bear first. Still need one more part. I can't do anything with that computer yet. Let's go on the opposite side. Oh. Unless they block it off. Let us pose another query. If a tree falls in the woods, does it make a sound? Hmm. I don't know. Uh, can it talk? Yes, but only after the. That's a sketch. 
I'll have it. It does make a sound, but since it's a tree, it's too stupid to notice. Correct. Well, well they're just too stupid to notice. Hello. Goodbye. I wonder what the Etsy sketch is for. Driver. What do I use a screwdriver for? So use the portrait as an inspiration for worst facial sketch. What does that do though? Let's use the Esther sketch on that painting. Ah! Oh, the RAM. Hi, right, Ted, just a heads up. I put your RAM right here. This way it gets less dusty. Oh my gosh, dude. That's a child's room. I found this RAM. Let's go add it to the computer. There you go. That's weird. Do I put it here? Ah, there you go. <laughs> what? What are you looking at? <laughs> Something on Vladdy's face? Why What's you up? talk? Do you understand? Yes. Understand what Vladdy is saying. Yes. <sighs> Butso boy, you're a big idiot. How you survive by being stupid? Yes. <sighs> Fine. Vladdy, help. <sighs> oh. mm. Why guys, so many. <sighs> Huh? What is this on Vladdy's back? This makes no sense. All of this is very stupid. <laughs> <sighs> so, where we go? You have acquired Vladdy. Prepare to be insulted forever. Nice. Oh. We need you to settle a debate on taking naps. Oh my god. What is that? What is... What is Plant saying? Is that a... It is... It's a helicopter! What? what? Da? Give me a ride, Mr. Helicopter! No, give me a ride! We can all fit just climbing! My lucid drug! What's the way? Boy, Grisomnyoi! Chitania Vesela! What is he saying? Contraption! What if you're just gonna be like that? Oh, right. We completely forgot. We have a message for you. It's very important. You should hit the showers. What's a shower? I have no idea. In the gym? Vladdy does not like it here. <laughs> That's so funny. Yo, you're so slow. Do I need to wait for you? Oh, what? Well, I guess I'll just run. Oh, yeah, this part is open now. Let me stay here while you do your stupid things, idiot. Oh, what, what? I know it says go that way, so I'll go the opposite way. Oh, I guess I can't go that way. <laughs> a 
What's with the lines? They suck. Oh, there's another line. Let's follow the red one for now. What? Where am I going? Where does this go? Who is she? You snore pretty loud. I like that. <laughs> Who has disturbed me? We are not amused that you have kept us waiting. Has our servant informed you of your task? No, of course not. Imbecile. No matter. One must do things themselves if one would like it done right. Feels like we have been trapped here for an age. Our cowardly captors saw to that by stopping the righteous light from bathing us in its glory. Of course, we would not expect one such as yourself to understand. But perhaps you are different from the rest. Dare we let ourselves hope that we have finally found our champion? Are you okay, lady? Or no, lady? likely not. But we would be remiss if we did not at least let you attempt to do something of value. So, we bequeath to you your tasks. Restore energy to this wretched place once again, and raise the rings. Only then will you be worthy of consideration. <laughs> what? Oh, so I think she means the Cheerios. In pure coincidence, a path opens to you. Ah, oh, damn it. Let's see what's in this yellow area. Where did it go? Not here. Ha! Not here. So insulting! How dare it! This insolence will not be tolerated! This one is dangerous. Not like the others. I can see it already. This one has a brain. Hmm, must be dealt with. What are you talking about? Why do you have a fanny pack? <laughs> He's probably talking about you. Is he trying to find me? It should be me! It should be me! Surrounded by idiots! Rattle! Underappreciated! What is wrong with this guy? Scorn. Really, what is that? X is not a number. What? Why is that there? We should have kept one around to ask about that. X is... Ugh! Ridiculous! Hmm, much better. Some of my best work. We did saying something! What was I doing? Ah, yes! Dealing with unwanted guests. Yeah, that guy's a freaking weirdo. Alright, so let's go back, because I think new paths open for me.
Plus, my buddy here is waiting. Hey, how do I get out? Ah, oh, exit. idiot! So you are done being stupid up there. Good. Where we go? Where we go? Let's see if those other areas opened. There's one up here. Oh, that scared me. Oh yeah, it did open. Now we can go down. <laughs> Look how slow he goes. What? Why is that Vladi's job? What is Vladi supposed because to do? Because you're smarter do? than me. Why do you walk so slow? <laughs> Thing will never work. It is. It. Huh? You fixed it. Okay. Oh, I need a coat. The coat rack. And the suit. Oh, and then the edge sketch, and then the headband. There you go. That's why we needed all that. You must be joking. That never worked. Shut up. It worked. Well, that was still stupid. You're stupid. Don't tell me I'm stupid. <laughs> What the? Where the heck are we? Alright, let's look over here. I can go up there? Oh my gosh, this place is huge. I noticed this flyer and assumed this was your work. So, I will remind you, pools are not safe to cold chemical waste. Why did you order one, stupid? Bobby Buffoon, why is there a lobby here? What happened to the decontamination room? Hi, Ted. Pretty sure I told you I did a little rework. I think this will be a real high traffic spot for the tour. It's gonna be a real money maker. Words fail me, idiot. And stop with the statues. <laughs> oh, what's this? Oh, I think another uh, brochure. A book? What does that do? Okay, so I need to reserve power, it says. Bob, I have made this map so our staff can restart the bargain. Basement reactor you ordered without blowing us all to kingdom come. Do me a favor, don't come anywhere near it, moron. Ted, Ted, I solved your maze. Took me a while, but I got it in the end. Bob, how are you this stupid? Did you get your doctorate out of a cereal box? <laughs> Jesus, they're so mean to each other. Oh, okay, so I can't go this way yet. Mm, okay, so I can't do anything in this room just yet. Sub one. Okay, so what's this room? Where you could put a submarine? Oh, I got something. Can't open that. Stupid American garbage. What? Can you open that? Only have English. Do you want the English muffin? I thought you might have liked it. Oh, we're locked in! <gasps> no. Hiya, Ted. Since the highly sensitive area, I added a new security door. No need to thank me. Can't be too careful. Bob, do you realize that your new security door closes for no reason and locks people inside? It's a very secure area. Stop being cheap and get that door to work, moron. Shit. What is that? So an item like an egg. We place There's a key. Hiya, Ted. Just FYI, I bought the... Acetylene gas tank up to the farm for the annual staff barbecue. Completely corn free, of course. Bob, how many times I told you that we can't have barbecues on the farm? Put it back. 
for days behind schedule and stop joyriding with the tractor, you dummy. I don't know if I pronounced that gas tank correctly. Okay, so what's this key for? An approved design for loading a crane. Great. Water. Bloody's favorite. Hey, Ted. Upgraded the lifting system so two people can use it at once. Our efficiency will nearly double. Bob, know that I do not say this lightly, but this may well be the absolutely worst idea you ever had. Jesus, they really hate each other. A lock? But I can't use... Bob, the last time, stop leaving your junk everywhere. I don't know why you even have a cello case. Um, you don't even own a cello, dummy. Yeah. Strange sealed box. Why can't I open it, though? Hey, it said, need this box of knickknacks loaded. Be a pal and move it for me, would you? Bob, you sloth. I'm not your errand boy. Load it yourself. Okay, so let's uh, read some of the stuff. Last thing I read was... In the triumph report? No, the rock. The only way this report could sound more triumphed is as if triumphs were blared every time it was read. Explain the very promising results after examining one of the new se sentient corn stock, a breed of ruby queen, corn that shows high levels of intelligence. It also glosses over the fact that the spe specimen is how somehow female, which was apparently impossible under the genetic protocol the facility used to create them. Child's block. It's a nondescript children's block adorned with letters and numbers and you spend a long amount of time trying to figure out which is which eventually you sort it out but the number five still fools you every now and then what a weirdo tour guidebook it appears an official guidebook for the tour of the research facility a large portion of the text inside has been redacted but 20 pages are fully dedicated to giant vats and more report and mostly repeats of refrains that vats are very large and contain things that should stay in large vats cheeseburger wrapper originated from the local fast food restaurant nutritional information on the wrapper proudly proclaims now 100 percent sal salmonella free <laughs> there are no exaggerations thousands of wrappers littering the facility but a fetching mustard stain on a particular one sparks you and you pick it up what a weirdo i'm not paying for this bathroom invoice the invoice for an incredibly extravagant bathroom calls for marble steps leading up to two extravagant toilets and a sink encrusted with gold Loss is at the hundreds of thousands Ted's left in Ted left it on Bob's toilet seat with a very pointed statement on financial culpability. Misinterpreted memo. A memo from the US government direct a memo from the US government directed to a secret research facility named of which redacted. It contains a incomprehensible directive to do something with corn, including an even more incomprehensible sum of money for the budget. The year on the memo is 1983. Uh, shift schedule. A schedule outlining the work of shifts of the entire facility staff. Most notable are the shifts of the two founders. They are completely opposites of each other. <laughs> yeah, because they don't want to work with each other. Uh, pool flyers. The flyers for Paul's pools and pest removal advertises big savings for orders within a 20 mile radius of the shop, along with free extermination of one pest. The cheapest pool in the flyer has been circled several times in red pen. Avi brochure, a brochure for companies whose main goal is to fulfill all of your low to mid-level lobby needs. On the back, one design is particular encircled a red pen. The cheapest one from company taglines reads, waiting, never felt so good. The reactor guidelines, this quite possibly the worst written book of the guidelines in history of time. Now, none of the guidelines make sense of the instructional drawings. All consist of a sick person running away from a large fire. Loading skids. Uh, you decide to pick up because you like the direction of the grain of the wood and that it gives you splinters while holding from every conceivable angle. That's freaking weird. Sub manual. Um, an instruction manual for building your own, va your very own two-man submarine. Since Bob and Ted opt for the budget m model, the manual is a hundred pages long and mapped out in a fashion that is similar to a choose-your-own-adventure novel. Grain design. Uh, created by Pete games and carnival the design of the loading crane appears to be based off a simple claw game a fact which excited bob to no end Ten controversially wasn't too thrilled about it but was stuck in it anyway after 
Bob forged the signature on the approved form. A freak. Dude, there's something wrong with these two characters. Okay, Vlad, come on. Oh, what's this? A water pipe, okay. What do I do with the water pipe? Uh, this magic water pipe grants you the power to transport water from one end to the other. There will be no reason for you to do this at any point in this adventure, but you will continue to carry it anyway, just in case. How do I get the heck out of here? Oh, the key was for this. Got a hammer and a box cutter. Okay. Well, that makes more sense now. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna box cut this box open. And we found the egg. Why you pick up so much garbage, idiot? Vladdy does not understand. Can't. Okay, I can't bring that open. We will use it for the egg. Okay, what was that? A Pisces lock. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Is it just for this? I could have just hammered it open. What? The Valadi won't say this, but he probably could crawl through the vent and unlock the door. What vent? Which vent? Oh, this vent. Uh, in there? Yes. Oh, go. Boy. Stupid idiot, making Vladdy crawl through dumb thing. What is Vladdy supposed to do in here? Stupid! Ah! Ah! <laughs> stupid wires everywhere! Why Not my fault, Vladdy. Oh! Ah! Ah! <laughs> Why is this stupid thing upside down? Makes no sense! How stupid are these idiots? Maybe if Vladdy gets... Ah! Ah! Vladdy has to... Oh! Ah! Can't do this dumb... Ah! Ah! Boy, guys, so many... Thank you, Vladdy. Hey, idiot! Did that work? Yes. Stop being stupid and say something. Fine. Vladdy done anyway. Two more Lushi drugs. Stupid idiot. Could get nowhere without Vladdy. Vladdy has to do everything. Yep. So, now what? Vladdy didn't unlock that any part of the experience. Also, a new path is open for you. Thank you. Probably somewhere radioactive. Well, I think that's actually going to be it for this video. Um, let me know in the comments what you guys think about this game. What do you think about Vladdy? <laughs> He's kind of funny. Um, if you're new here, please subscribe. If you like this video, press that like button as well. And press that notification button to be notified when my, when my videos um, appear. But thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.